Hello YouTube, thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, today's video is going to be about homemade MREs. If you've ever had to eat a military issued uh, MRE, they're uh, pretty interesting. Uh, you know, it, it definitely takes some getting used to. So I decided to make my own MREs um, and this way I know that everything in this MRE our family is going to eat. So the first part of the MRE, I'm basically everything that you see on the table here is going to go into this sandwich bag, this sandwich zip Ziploc bag, and then that's going to go into the MRE. This is basically going to be a condiment uh, bag with a couple other goodies in it, and uh, just starting at the top left here um, and going through the top row, we got some uh, raisins, a pack of matches, a pack of salt and pepper, package of honey, package of ketchup. Uh, a spoon, which is hard to see because it's clear. Uh, one spoon, and we have some assorted uh, candies over here. Um, actually, let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see them. Um, hard candies, cinnamon candies, some mints, um, disposable uh, disposable coffee. Um, <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> uh, what's the word I'm looking for? All right. Anyway, instant, instant coffee, uh, and then two Crystal Light uh, Energy orange drinks uh, to put in, uh, you know, water. One Slim Jim, a moist wipe, M and M's, uh, four sweeteners, uh, a tea bag, and hot chocolate. So um, that's basically all going to go into this sandwich bag now. For my MREs, I've made a checklist, um, and we have different, uh, you know, different meal options on here of stuff that I bought, and then I just put down the quantity of what's in there. If I know there's, uh, you know, one tea bag in there and one hot chocolate packet, you know, certain ones I may put more hot chocolate packets in or whatever. But this is designed to be just a 24-hour period. So, um, if you want to pause the video at any time and read this, feel free. Uh, you will see this again as we get into making and sealing the MRE. So, that's it for now. Stay tuned for more. Okay, guys. Uh, here's the rest that needs to get uh, put into the MRE. Got uh, two packages of oatmeal, uh, a packet of chicken and beef uh, ramen noodles. Um, this is a... Um, a bag of uh, white uh, breast chicken and um, that is good until 2016 I believe um, but again I am I am uh, wrapping all of these July 2016 and it is you know September of 2013 right now extra Ziploc bag um, that is because once this MRE is opened, um, they're not going to be able to seal the other uh, the, the bag that it's in. So I'm going to put one gallon uh, Ziploc bag so if you need to seal the contents or you don't finish everything, you can reuse it. Hormel Complete, um, you can see this is in its packaging. Um, I'm basically going to cut all of this off, just tape the top on so I know what it is and um, it takes up less packaging room that way um, so yeah this is marked for 12 24 14 but again it's going to be uh, vacuum sealed as well uh, then I have a nature uh, valley protein bar that's going to go in there and then of course the bag that I just showed you um, with all the goodies in it and then my checklist uh, is complete now of everything that's in this MRE and what's not in the MRE so I know exactly what's in it by just looking at it and what you know what I feel like eating whatever sorry about the shakiness guys YouTube's definitely gonna detect a shaky video <laughs> and then <clears throat> in every, every MRE um, I'm gonna put this note too and this basically says uh, this MRE has three meals and snacks enough calories for one person for one day you need clean water and a way to boil it to make these meals. If needed, use this paper as a fire starter. 
If you have been given this MRE, it's to remind you of being prepared. If you are not into preparedness, you are preparing to fail. And that is my new motto. Okay guys, here's the MRE before I go to the machine and seal it up. You kind of have to be creative in the way that you pack these to kind of minimize space. And I've kind of, uh, through some practice, I've gotten pretty good. Um, and there's my checklist in the front here. So this guy is ready basically to be sealed up. So, hang on, sorry about that. This is one that has already been sealed. Um, and you can see how, how much tight, uh, or how much air that is and how tight the packaging is. Um, so, yeah, it does wrinkle paper and all that, but I can still read everything on here and know what's in it. Um, and my little disclaimer still here, so if I'm giving this to a neighbor or something, um, and that's what I maybe plan on doing with a couple of these, is just, you know, putting that, uh, planting that prepper seed uh, into the neighbors. Um, so uh, maybe they'll uh, be inspired to do something like this as well. So, um, I will get to sealing this guy right here. Thanks. If you guys decide to uh, make your own MREs, a little tip that I had um, is I just got a, like a little crate uh, from Walmart or whatever, and uh, you know just filled up with all different kinds of stuff and unboxed everything so that it had uh, you know there was room. So if I had Crystal Light packages or drink packages, I took them out of the boxes and just kind of you know made room for everything. Everybody loves chiclets, right? Um, and then that way you just have like one kind of crate with everything. Uh, of course my noodles, uh, ramen noodles, I have bulk packs of that. But uh, just a little hint, tip, maybe to make things a little better. Just put everything in a crate. And then as you're making them, just uh, you know pull out what you need for that MRE and then make it and keep everything else aside because otherwise it just gets too overwhelming. Just a tip, thanks. I'm going to put a use-by date of uh, September 2015. I think a two-year uh, shelf life for this after being vacuum sealed, um, I think will, you know, definitely uh, hold up with everything in here. I would have no problem eating anything in this vacuum sealed package uh, by that date. So, if I don't uh, use it by then, which why well, I definitely will, uh, I'll take them camping or whatever, uh, you know, and just maybe keep one in the vehicle now that it's winter time, or almost fall actually, and uh, keep one in the car throughout uh, winter. I would not leave it in the uh, car or the truck for summertime. So, that's my homemade MREs. Remember guys, if you're not into preparedness, you're preparing to fail. Mm -hmm.